Hey guys, it's Jairus the Barber. I'm gonna show you guys how I operate my barber station. What tools I use, what products I prefer, what combs I use, what conversation starters I have around my station, what type of capes I use. I'm gonna show you guys everything I operate within. Um, I hope you enjoyed this experience. You already know you gotta join the family and get rooted. Alright guys, so I'm gonna be dabbling into my clippers. Um man I'm I'm in love with Wall. Wall's really my favorite company. If any clipper company can endorse me, it'd be wall 100 percent First I'll start off with my wall balding clippers. I use these just to bald out, right? Save the life of my liners and uh, save some time. This the wall senior. This is my favorite tool overall, 100%. I uh, wasn't the first clipper I used. First clippers I was using were the masters and stuff. When I picked up these, these really changed the game. My headers. I got two wall detailers. The rock and gold special edition and uh, the normal edition these are so sharp man these hit better than any other any other liner i have they really one hit and go i don't have to keep retapping like i would with these these are mainly for uh, kids they're more dull but the amazing thing i have are these I installed the Omnicord. The Omnicord really stopped a lot of mess and problems I've had. No cords all tangled up. It's just simple plug in, instant power. Plug out, plug in, instant power. I can, I have. Five clippers lined up with the Omnicord. Probably gonna do a one, two more. Really a game changer. I can't even stress how much this truly benefited me. Here at 3 all Magic Clips in a 1919. All of the ceramic blades. I only cut with the finest, the sharpest. They last the longest. Shout out to Omnicord. Man, I got a lot of wall clippers, but I told you, if I can get endorsed by anyone, definitely wall. I also have the Shoddy's Red Hot Pick. This is a phenomenal tool. See, I'm from Toronto, Canada. There's a new NBA champion, and it's a team from Toronto, Canada. We the North are now we the champions. The Raptors, the 2019 NBA champs. We don't really have these out here, but I went to New Orleans, Louisiana for the Warner Brothers show, and I met the owner of this. I picked one up, wrote him a little proposal. If you get back to me, you should definitely have a Canadian representative, man. This product's so innovative, it stretches out the beard, or any curl, any flat top, any afro, and you can shape it properly without straightening it so it still maintains its curl it just loosens it and lets you shape it properly so when you go home and shower there's no you're not you're not disappointed there's no hanging hairs everything's even and man this is really a beautiful clipper you see i got the andis bgrc patchables that's a powerful clipper right there you see that ceramic blade move in these are amazing because when you want to gauge and keep shape, imagine this was a head and shaped like this. 
You can come up and fade so fast to set the guideline for your foundation incredibly quick. Every barber needs a detachable. You at least need a one, one and a half, two, and three and a half to be setting in the shop and banging out cuts efficiently. Trust me, I gotta have this in your arsenal. I just put it up here on my station. Now this, this is the Bronze Series 9, straight out of Germany. Hear that roar, look at those blades move. This um is the most powerful shaver on the market, as you see. It has two foils right there, and a cutter right there. I can cut down a 0.5 with it and completely bald it out because of this mechanism. Germany is on the top of his line with his technological advances. It always has been with machinery and cars and tanks and stuff. This is crazy. Um, really changed the industry up with this. Put it right back on my charger. It has a lithium ion battery, so it's fully charged until dead. Got to clean it out after, put it under the sink, or even dip it in your barbicide and turn it on and filter it out. I got some normal, you know, spray bottles, water, aftershave, cool care. You got to spray down all your tools after. Rocking with some elegance gel. One of your straight javes with hot towels and that old school feel. So right here. I got my barber side, put all my combs in it. I got a bunch of YS Park combs, guards in there. You have to disinfect every every usage for at least 10 minutes each comb or each guard, because if not, that's just unsanitary and the health board can shut you down. Cleanliness is next to godliness, they say. So here, I have my blow dryer. Blow dryer is a must. Lay down some waves. Do a pompadour, comb over, it's even just blow drying off hair. It's a must, man, it's essential. I, just... I got some do rags on deck. You should always keep some do rags on deck to lay down the hair at the end of the cut, see where it's actually gonna lay, just so you can reline it up. Um, a lot of barbers aren't doing that. That's pretty whack to me. It's inconsistent. Consistency is key. Consistent haircuts equals cons consistent clients. That you, um, you had, you, you, you could, you do, you, you want, you, you could do so, you, you do, you could, you, you want, you want him to do you so much, you could do anything. So you see the setup I'm working with here. I got some premium guards, one and a half, point five, some detachable guards, the wall premium guards. I was gonna keep some neck tricks on deck. Got a knuckle brush, pretty sick cut. Just keep it on your knuckle. Some elegance gloves. Clients appreciate these, and you don't get hair splinters. It's very sanitary. You don't have to deal with all that craziness. Trust. Sanitation is key. If you don't have any gloves, I recommend you use hand sanitizer after all your clients, and you show them that you do it. You have to really, you know, come for success, dress to impress. It's all about cleanliness. So down here, I just have my razor disposals. So after every time we do a straight blade, I put my disposable blades in it. It's really satisfying. It's really satisfying seeing these build up over time. They're free at any shopper's drug mart or any uh, medical store, drug store like that. Um, you ask for one, you put all your disposables, any type of shards, you put any needle, you put any straight razor, and you just give it back to them at the end of this and they uh, safely dispose of it. Trust me, it's good for the environment. You don't want to mess up the environment just because you're selfish. This drawer here, so I keep all my combs, all my scissors, all my blades, but I'm going to reveal it in my to go box just because it looks neater and I want to show you how my to go box looks set up. Alright, guys, this is my to go box typically. This is what I use for house calls. This is what I use to take my tools home if I do any cuts at my house. Um, if I do house calls at other people's houses, it's typically $100 plus for mobile service. I do not like cutting at other people's houses. That's why I charge so much. I have to bring my own lighting. I have to bring my own chair. I have to bring all my own tools. And it's so much to carry and it's so out of the way. But 
the clients that are really willing to pay the price will do it i will come through and i will give you that premium service so this is what it looks like it's just how i keep it naturally when i go for my calls bomb look at that stacked everything fits perfectly no leakage no tools are flying around this box is actually only twenty dollars at walmart um yeah man you can't go wrong for twenty dollars see it fit my bottles in there my keep is like a cushion that cushions these and my tools multi-purpose so look at all my combs man look at all my razors i'm gonna go through comb by comb and show you guys what's up let's start with my sectioning clips look how long these are when i seen these i'm like wow these are perfect i went through a lot of uh sectioning clips and these ones i find are the best they're the longest i only need two of them three of them sometimes even one of them to get undercut perfectly sectioned let's start with some scissors these are just basic thinning shears nothing too special not my fancy ones this right here are my featherweights these are interesting i use these on a day-to-day -day or house calls but i don't use them too much at work but look the blades come off so whenever they dull out you can just go to the store and buy new blades instead of sharpening them because sometimes finding a, a guy who sharpens them perfectly is hard to come by and they just mess up your tools and make you charge for nothing so i got two plastic straight razors black and white you know i do one cut especially on it with a house call this will be a little dirty and have dead skin from the last cut so I'll take out that razor, throw it away, and then put it in the, and then use a different blade than this one. Back to back uniformity, the black and white looks pretty cool. I have another straight razor right here. Oh, this one was a parting gift from leaving my old shop. My old neighbor Christian gave this to me. This one's sick because, boom, slide, bop. You can twist this and that won't slide no more. We untwist it. You could place, you can even put a, a whole blade in there, the whole double side. So when you use it, you can go down and you can go upward with the blade coming out of here. Beautiful quality. I don't use it as much. I prefer using these ones I'm really comfortable with, but when I want to give someone a more classic experience and uh, provide an aesthetic look to the service, I use this. This is a detangling comb. It's like two bucks at any store, but look at the way the comb's designed. The way it's designed to detangle, it's amazing for curls, especially wave cuts or any black hair I comb down. This is the go-to when I first comb out a head of hair to find out if he has any bumps or any uh, dents in his head. Or what do you call it, uh, Just to see how clean the canvas is. This is the go-to. Now here, all my YS Parks. This is the YS Park flat top comb. YS Park is a pricey brand, but definitely worth it. It's an investment in yourself. It's like 30, 40 bucks, but it'll last you for 30, 40 years. It's, it's sturdy, man. This is, this is a must. I'm gonna put in the top right corner of this video all the numbers of these. I'm gonna go slowly. Another YS Park, basic one. This isn't YS Park, but it's a cool colored comb. Another YS Park, scissor over comb comb another one all these combs have their own purposes people are like why do you have so many combs i find in the barber industry combs are very underrated but they all have their purposes and that's why i have really clean quality cuts it's because i go above and beyond with my tools and my service Yes, I have duplicates of some. It's never too bad to have a couple of some. This is probably one of my favorite ones for scissor over comb. Carbon fiber, heat resistant. This is a metal comb I got at a beauty expo, but it's starting to act really weird. Like in the barber side, there's like a acrylic painting coming off and it kind of looks like cement on the inside. I might have to throw it out soon, to be honest. This doesn't really look that professional. Ah, a roller brush. These are essential. It's 
especially when you're blow drying and you want to give someone a, a pompadour or a slick back or just like lay down a comb over this is this is essential you need to keep one in your arsenal this is probably my favorite pick i call it the t-rex pick it looks like a dinosaur guy this one the teeth are so wide it's perfect for combing out beards it's just, I know from experience, I'm a bearded man. This was my favorite comb for beards. I have one of those basic wall clipper combs. You can never go wrong with these. They're free with all the tools you buy from wall. And a basic 99 cent pick. I usually use this one for kids that have sensitive skin and don't want any metal touching their scalp. And the good Lord said, Arise, my son! Arise! And you shall be healed! <laughs> So that's my comb collection guys, um, I'm gonna move on to what else is in the box. So everything is snug in here. I've designed it so that nothing will phase when I, when I pick it up and walk around, nothing's rattling. I got this plastic section divider from Dollarama bro for like $2.50. I saw that and thought it would work perfectly and it does work perfectly because it gives me just enough space to put my wall premium guards right in the middle. So look snug tight i can put my omnicord cord right in this little slot for when i travel and with the omnicords it's so much easier to put in this section i can put two liners my senior my balder all in this i could probably even throw in one more liner if i wanted to my two magic clips right here fit perfectly snug don't rattle around too much but a tip i'll give you guys put your guards on before you put them in just in case so you don't uh knock out your blades adjustment and it stays zero gap perfectly the whole time this little section fits perfectly for my neck strips i got my knuckle brush my feather blades another duster i use for my tools keep some more guards in here tattoos and stuff do rags gloves gloves are so important i already went over that Everything fits perfect, man. This is an amazing setup. See, now you could go and buy a Vincent Barber case or any of these high-end designer barber cases or backpacks, and they look sick. And honestly, I respect you going all out for your business, but to me, it's kind of unnecessary. I have this $20 case with a $2.50 divider that fits perfectly snug. I'd rather spend 23 bucks instead of $900 to look fancy. This still looks professional still in use and nothing could really phase it almost forgot my hidden gem these are the serious bad boys these are the hanzo hattori shears hanzo hattori that's your email if you're ever interested in inquiries the amazing thing about this company is that they actually have payment plans and you can pay like a 20 30 bucks until it's fully paid off I like to pay things upright, but that's an awesome bonus. These are the shears I got. Feels like I'm holding a samurai sword. So high end. I do all my scissor work, all my long scissor cuts, cr textured crop tops and everything with these. They're amazing for cross cutting and naturally thinning, but they're so sword, man. I feel like a samurai. These are the thinning shears. These thinning shears are premium technology look at that blade right there you see how the teeth are like rounded you can literally so you have the hair close and pull up and there'll be zero irritation no snagging no pulling no irritation of their of their scalp it literally just glides effortlessly through their hair now i guess you're probably wondering how much i spent on these these are i, I got them for 1300 canadian um there was a, a barber convention downtown toronto at the metro toronto convention center and uh i took their class so i got a discount code it was a 20 percent discount code from their class and i also uh got this other coupon from the other side of the venue i had like three discounts i don't remember exactly but i i got them for roughly 13 almost 1400 canadian for both of these but they're supposed to be 1700 american and if you know the canadian to american conversion rate that would have been like 2200 canadian 2300 canadian so 
Hanzo Hattori, amazing company, unlimited warranty. If you break them or you drop them and there's some technical difficulty or issue with the ball bearing inside of the pivot point, you can uh, tell the company and they'll come by in a van from wherever they're located in their office and give you a loan repair until they completely fix yours that you can use. I've never met a company that's customer service goes that far above and beyond. The professional, the professionalism is adequate and I'm uh, very pleased to be a representative of Hansa Tori. Amazing. As you can see, it's easily mobile, lightweight, can hold it normally. I feel like a CIA agent dropping off an important package or something. You look professional showing up for your house calls. 23 bucks is a must cop, man. Okay guys, so I'm gonna walk you through my product list. These are products I use on a day-to-day -day basis. I have way more products, but it's way too much to go through. These are just the basic foundation of what I use. I have a detangling leave-in conditioner. So, the key is to have your hair moisturized because your hair gets dry, you don't want dandruff, but you don't want too much chemicals in you. The Cyan Essentials is an amazing product filled with a lot of natural preservatives mixed with amino fatty acids like avocado oil and almond oil and all these things that are like food smoothies, people say, right? It's amazing for your hair, it's hair food. Now I have the Design Essentials Moisturizing and Detangling Conditioner. I use this after I shampoo, before I start cutting. Now, my favorite clarifying shampoo is by Paul Mitchell. It removes all the grease, dirt, pollution from the air, dandruff, anything like that, sweat, before I start the cut and gives me a clean canvas to work with. Shout out to Paul Mitchell. This is another one. Another one. Clarifying shampoo. Bomb, moisturizing, detangling, conditioner. Oil sheen, you gotta have some oil sheen. Spray it at the end of the cut. It'll hydrate the skin and give you a smooth shine and have them smelling great. This is the Macadamia Oil Styling Gel. Um, a lady actually came in and gave it to me as a sample. I didn't go out and purchase it, but it is really good. I, uh, I recommend her brand. Good up. Now these, I got these at my hair show in Ottawa. These smell so good, man. I wish you could smell it. Mm. It smells like a, a cherry slush puppy or any uh, Slurpee or cherry lollipop. It has your client smell like candy. It's, if your client don't get some women after this, man, they're doing something wrong for, for real. Weber's vitamin E supplement. This is amazing. Whenever you do straight shaves, if the client gets irritated and gets a razor burn, this will get rid of it and relieve pain instantly. A toothbrush, so I'll pick one up when I go out today. Other than that, I'm in good shape. I would say this is even better than aloe vera gel. Always have some of this on deck. I know a lot of barbers don't know about this. Um, you have to do some research. Do your own research, think for yourself. This is the best thing for razor burn. Whatever is vitamin E. This is just a, a dewy moisturizer. It's kind of like a leave-in conditioner, but it's, it's, it's a spray. It's not really a cream. Um, it smells really good. It's nice to apply it right after a wash, and they smell it and like, whoa, this guy goes above and beyond. It's a little pricey. It's like 15 bucks for this bottle, but you only really pull it out on people you think deserve it, to be honest. Now I got my Anna's clipper oil. I oil my clippers every night after I'm done using them. I, I lubricate with a cool care and disinfect, but like a deep, a deep oil, I only use once at the end of my cutting. Arlo's beard oil, you have coconut. I have all these different types, so I should have pulled them out. These are great. I even sell these, just buy them and resell them. I got the Bump No Way uh, aftershave. It's more than an after aftershave, it's, it's a bump eraser. Um, and now I'm gonna take you out. Any last words? Oh, you go, 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 you
I'm sorry, what was that? Personally, I'll only prescribe this after I've told them to try the natural path. If the natural path isn't working, then we go chemical. A good natural path would be African black soap with a mix of um, either lavender, tea tree oil. You can make your own solution. There's plenty of different solutions you can uh, YouTube, but this is only after the natural solution isn't working no more. This is peppermint oil. I always put a drop or two with my conditioner when I when I when I wash out their hair and all their grease. This leaves a tingling, stimulating sensation. Um, they'll feel it for the rest of the cut, maybe a half an hour, 45 minutes after the cut, and we'll keep them thinking about the experience. You're not just providing a haircut, you're providing an experience. They should want to come back to the shop and have this experience. I got the elegant styling paste. Go to this is an oil sheen, but this is the prime sheen of sheens I've used. It's pretty expensive for a little bottle, but it's not an aerosol can, right? It's a directly applied spray. It's uh, way healthier for the hair. It's This brand's just amazing. This is way better than any oil sheen. Trust Rusk. Great brand. You should look into it. I have little American Crew pucks. I love American Crew samples. I sell them too. They all have different uses, right? There's the forming cream. It says medium hold and shine. The fiber, high hold, low shine, and the pomade, medium hold and high shine. So when I'm styling a, a, a client's hair, I ask them, I have a variety of pucks and, and waxes I know do different things. I'm like, are you more focused on a smell? Are you more focused on how it's gonna hold? Do you want it to be shiny or do you want it to be low shine and high hold? And all these different um, wordings and examples and phrases you can um, provide your client. And when you become fancy with your products, like your client knows their hair better than anyone. It's their hair. But when you have, um, but when you have ways to talk out of anything, when you have ways to talk about things they don't know to talk about, like the density of the follicle, if the hair is porous or not, how it will absorb uh, moisture. They don't know what you're talking about. They don't know what porosity means. So when you talk about these things, they, they believe you're real high service, which we are, we are high service. Sometimes I'll even take a marker and write up on my mirror what I'm talking about, what I'm doing, and it looks like a, a math or science equation, and they're like, wow, he's really breaking it down to the science. This barber is going above and beyond. I'm coming back to him every time because he cares about my well-being. No other barber will do that. But yeah, guys, I've been going on and on. This is These are the products I use. Um, I'll put a link in the description. If I don't, just Google it, man. These are basic brands, up-and-coming brands. Yeah, man. Guys, these are my designer barber capes. Um, I try and rock with the freshest because you know your clients talk about it. It's a great conversation starter, and you look like you invest in your craft. And it's very professional. So my first cape is a Filipino Jordan flag. Shout out to all my Filipino clients. Mad loyal, bring me a lot of business. Y'all part of the family, man. Next up, I got my Louis V and Supreme cape. This is hands down my favorite one. I wear a lot of black and white. This goes with a lot of my outfits I wear in the shop. Man, this one's just so clean. Next one, I got my Versace, black and gold. Yeah, this one's super hard. Black and gold and black and white are my two big theme colors that I wear. Next, I got my Gucci one. Looks like a little Gucci belt here with a strap, Gucci print design, the burgundy man. Man, I love burgundy. Last but not least, this one's a new addition to the family. It's the Bape Camouflage one. I see this one surfacing on the internet a lot lately. A lot of uh, YouTube barbers have been using it and Instagram barbers, but man, I had to hop on this wave. Now that I went through my capes, this is my chair. It does the whole recline, come back, do a straight shave.
So up here at the top of my station, I have my second place trophy. I went to my first barber battle in Ottawa. Uh, shout out to Vic Blends and Jamie Majors for coming down to Ottawa, Canada and throwing a nice big event for the city. Um, I got to network with a lot of Montreal barbers, a lot of Ottawa barbers, some Atlanta barbers, and it was an amazing experience. It was my first time ever competing, and me and my friend P Money, Petru Cuts, uh, took the dub. I'll post some pictures and videos uh, showing what we did for our work. Up here I have my hairstylist apprenticeship card. Um, I'm a hairstylist apprentice. I'm learning at this new salon how to do color, how to do relaxers, how to lock dreads, how to do braids. I'm really trying to elevate in that standpoint of the industry. I've been a barber now for almost four years, three and a half years, and um, I was starting to feel stagnant. I wanted to go and elevate my knowledge, so I came to a new salon, became an apprentice, I'm going to hair school, cosmetology school, on September 5th, that's soon time. Um, I'm excited man, I'm excited to elevate my game in the industry and provide multiple services for everyone else that sits in my chair and I can take anyone that walks through that door. I'm not trying to sleep on the money, money doesn't sleep, money doesn't eat, money doesn't get sick. It just grows and grows and grows and grows and gets harder to get with time. So you already know, I'm on the way. sentimental one of my clients gave it to me the Toronto Raptors won 2019 NBA champions right and they were giving us out in the back it says roots roots is a famous Canadian brand but it's also my name so he just thought of me dear roots the barber roots Toronto I'm from Toronto it's, it's just a cool little aesthetic thing to have I'm very appreciative he went out of his way and thought of me so I'll always keep this here every time he sees it and every time anyone else sees it, they ask about it. It's, it's just a cool little decoration, man. I love this. What up, guys? I believe that video was a success. My first time shooting. I hope you guys learned a lot from what I showed you in the breakdown. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. But subscribe, like, share. Help me get some noise. Let me make some noise out here in America. Let me make some noise out here in London, England. Maybe make some noise all over Europe all over Africa, all over the Middle East. Barbers, 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 we got the network in this industry. This is just the beginning. You're gonna see my faces at all these barber expos, all these barber battles, cause I'm coming for this industry. I'm coming for the win. You already know what it is. Join the family, get rooted.